Hi guys, welcome back to Vex Tutorials. This is Zealous, and today I have a gift tutorial for you. I've actually had a request for this, and I did it before, but I was very unhappy with like the outcome of the little picture that I made with a gift, so I wanted to redo it. So here I am. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to put a GIF onto a still image, or in this case, it's actually going to be a still image onto a GIF. This is actually going to make it pretty easy. Um, what I'm basically going to do, um, I want to come out with a line of door knocker templates so people can make their own door knockers. So I'm going to turn this GIF here of Bonnie Bennett um, into a door knocker. So what I want to do is look at my size here, image size. 500 in width by 281 in height um, with my door knockers or any door knockers need to be 435 in width um, but like we said we want to put a still image on this as well so I'm actually going to go to image canvas size I'm going to change this to pixels um, this little dot wherever this dot is on this little mini map down here that is where your GIF is going to appear on the canvas because we're going to actually make the canvas bigger than the GIF. We're going to go 435 in width by 435 in height. And I want my GIF right in the center on the bottom. All right, so now we have all this blank image up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my last layer and then my hold down shift and select my first layer and hit Control and G. And this is going to group them up. So this is our GIF right there. I'm going to hold down control. And while I'm holding control, I'm going to click the create a new layer button. And I'm going to fill that layer with black. So I'm going to hit shift and backspace. This is going to pop up. Choose foreground color. That's my black. And OK. So now what we can begin doing is putting still images onto this as well. Um, what I'm going to use is textures. You can use screen caps or whatever, but I'm going to use textures. All right, so I'm just going to grab my move tool. Oops, my bad. Grab my move tool, which is the little arrow at the very top of your tools panel. Um, select, you know, the background. Click down on my move tool and drag it over to my window where I have my GIF. Um, I want this above my GIF, so I'll drag it up above the little folder in my layers panel. See how it was under? Oh, <laughs> I just put it in. <clears throat> See how it was under over here in the layers panel? Now I'm going to drag it above, and it's going to be on top of that GIF. I'm going to choose lighten. Um, actually, I don't want to mess with the size of that. I actually like that size right there. All right, so obviously I don't want all of this stuff, this stuff in the background of the GIF showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my group, which is my GIF, create a new layer down here, and I'm going to grab a soft brush with the color black. I'm kind of going to paint in around this frame so that we can't see what's behind it on the GIF. It's okay if you go a little bit over, it'll just give a little bit of a shadow inset on the actual GIF inside of this little frame, which will actually look pretty good. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, the whole time I've been working, I should have said this first, I've had my very first frame. Down here in our frames, I've had the very first frame selected. Always have your first frame selected, and if we didn't have this folder, then you would have your last layer selected. That way it goes above the layers, but we have this in a folder, so that's fine. But always keep your first frame selected. If you're working on your seventh frame and you you move this over, it's not going to be the same on your first frame as it is on your seventh frame. Um, if you do actually run into that, all you have to do is unify it. Um, so See, now it's different. It's all the same until I go to seven and then it's moved. That's okay. I'm just gonna go up here to my unify and um, click on the little eye and that's gonna place it in the same spot. But I'm actually gonna click all three of these. So it's unified. Now layer seven is the same as every other layer. So if that ever messes up on you, just click on the layer that's messing up on your GIF and unify all three of these. So I'll just unify this too, just to be safe. 
so that doesn't move on me. All right, let's get another texture. Paste it, or just drag it, I'm sorry, drag it right over here. You're gonna be able to see it in your layers panel. It's gonna be showing on all of your frames down here because that's all you can see. Well, that's okay, we're gonna do a mask. That's the little square with a circle inside of it down here that's adding a layer mask. Grab a soft brush. Make sure you have your black selected in your colors down here. I'm gonna use my right bracket to bump up the size. I'm just gonna kinda doop, 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 doop. brush that off just like that. And that actually looks pretty. Um, It'll look prettier <laughs> when the PSD is on it. All this texture stuff, it, you have to put a PSD to make it all match. All right, so I'm up here, this is a little bright for my taste. I know some people like bright stuff, I don't. So I'm gonna select my, my new texture. I'm gonna go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit. Yeah, just like that, that looks good to me. All right, now I'm gonna go over to my PSD and drag it. And that's actually a pretty good looking little gift there. Um, let me see. If you'll notice, this texture is still kind of bright in contrast to this GIF. Um, this is one of my PSDs, so it has a Brighten option that'll brighten the image. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this Brighten option over the GIF, but under the textures. Oh yeah, I like that better. So it's under where I drew all this, and it's under both of my textures, but it's over my GIF. So my GIF is actually the only thing that's brightening up. I like the way that looks a lot better. Then you press play and everything should work. And like I said, if anything's misplaced, just unify it. Click, click, click. It's that easy. Just unify it and it'll be the exact same on all layers. And again, like I said, um, this doesn't have to be, you know, textures that you're adding to this GIF. It can be anything. It can be, you know, screen caps or whatever. Again, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me on Tumblr or on Vext, or you can just comment in the video um, comment box. Um, stay tuned. There's going to be more coming soon. Thank you.